Hey, hey, it is a new day. Welcome back to my channel. If I look like I've been up all night, it's because I have been. <laughs> we got here to Florida. We left last night at eight o'clock in the evening and we got down here at to our house at just shy of three o'clock. So it was a long 18-ish hour travel time. The kids did great. The two-year-old was the worst as you can imagine. Anyway, we got down here to our house. I have to say we prioritized the location this year over um, aesthetics, <laughs> um, but it is a nice cozy house. It works great. My parents are coming down the second week because we're here for two weeks. We've done this for the last, I think we decided this is our fifth year that we're doing this and we weren't going to. All the signs were pointing that we were just weren't getting a family trip this year, which is totally fine. Like I feel like such a spoiled brat every year when we come down here because yeah, it is such a luxury to be able to go on any vacation for two weeks. Although it is slightly a working vacation because I can work remotely. If you want the, the, the tomatoes are raw. They're just raw tomatoes on the top. Is that not how they do it okay. with, All right, right? Is that the normal way? I thought they normally bake, but that's fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> Josh is ordering pizza and then we're gonna go there. He's ordering the pizza ahead of time and then we're gonna go eat it there. That way the pizza is ready and waiting for us once we get get there with kids we don't want to sit and wait for an hour on a saturday night but as i was saying very much a privilege to be able to go on a trip at all and i will be working on youtube stuff josh is going to be doing a bunch of book work and stuff for his business too so anyway i thought i would take you guys along for bits and pieces of our trip i am a homemaker and a mom of four so this is just very special to even be able to do so even though we're gonna be vacationing at the pace of a newborn, it's super special and fun just to have our little family. I don't have to share Ivani with her teacher and her friends from school. We get her all to ourselves. Don't all moms agree the best part of vacation is just all the daddy time <laughs> that the kids get to have with their dad. But yeah, I'll show you a little house tour here. There is four bedrooms that we're, we're gonna be using just two of them. And then my parents are gonna come the second week and use the other two. We did consider spreading out and using all four of them at first and then moving together, but that just makes it feel worse the second week. So I think we're just gonna stick with the two rooms. It's still plenty spacious. We'll see, we'll see how it works out. We got here at like three and we're making decisions with like a lack of sleep under our belt. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. We're gonna head out for the evening and I'm gonna take you guys along. Pinecraft Park is not too far from where we're staying and it is loaded with Amish. It's kind of where we're going for supper. So it's quite the experience if you get to go. Yeah. <laughs> pizza. We're going for pizza. Are you hungry? Where are we at? What? Florida? came out to Siesta Key today. You really have to want it to go to the beach with four kids, but we really wanted it. It's the most beautiful day. It's the first day, full day here, and we're like, we're going to the beach. We thought we left early. We got here at 10.30. There was like no parking. A golf cart bit randomly left the parking spot after we circled for about five minutes. Honestly, we got really lucky and found a parking spot pretty quick because we've already circled for an hour to try to find parking. Absolutely ridiculous, but Siesta Key has beautiful white beaches, um, and so we wanted to come at least once. But Josh and I got this acai bowl to share. Um, I got the Nutella one from Playables and I substituted the Nutella with peanut butter. So we're gonna see what it's like. I love Nutella, Josh, not so much, so. Good morning and welcome to day two of our trip. We were at the beach yesterday like you guys saw and um, we got burned, not too bad. Like it could have been way worse, but Josh put the sunscreen on the kids cause I was feeding the baby in the van once we got there and found parking and everything. And so he was putting sunscreen on the kids and he's not as experienced as me. 
Um, and you can see like where he, he, he forgot Miller's ears and like you could see blotches on some of the kids But thankfully it was just a little pink not like red well Miller's ears are pretty red But yeah all in all it could have been way worse It was a good learning experience though none of them are in pain at all But boy it feels makes you feel like a bad mom when you see even like a little bit of sunburn happening and you know how bad it could have been Anyway, Ivani and I are actually gonna go over to postal 98 cafe She loves to sit at coffee shops and she like draws on my other laptop or does her own thing and I'm gonna work on my laptop get some stuff done and I'm also really excited because right there by the coffee shop is a market that sells the best chicken salad ever they put like craisins in it which sounds disgusting but it's really good and I've been dreaming about it for over a year now so we're gonna pick some of that up to eat on my sister's sourdough bread that I brought along and then later on Josh is gonna take Fletcher my biggest oldest son <laughs> they're gonna go to the driving range so they both will have a little bit of special time I don't know if you noticed but once you have a small, like we have a two-year-old and a newborn they get a lot of attention and I feel like sometimes the older ones they're easier and they just kind of get and slip under the radar if you're not careful so I think it's gonna be good to get a little mother daughter and father son time today so i'm currently getting ready to head out the door here and just gonna put on a little sunscreen here so i do want to talk to you guys today about wild which what originally attracted me to them i'm not gonna lie is their packaging you guys know i love cute packaging but i recently switched my well actually isn't recently about six months ago i switched to a new deodorant and wild is amazing you know there's no harsh chemicals or aluminum salts or parabens and there's shea butter and coconut oil for extra moisture and like i said i'm not new to this i've been using it for over six months but i was curious to see if it would work in the florida heat and i'm pleased to say that it does these postpartum mama you know ugh. the reason i know it works let me just say this is because when i forget to use it we all notice <laughs> it's that postpartum era guys i just feel like everything is just ugh. anyway so i'm really thankful for wild and that it works and it's also not full of a bunch of nasty stuff plus they don't use single-use plastic in their packaging which is awesome as well in fact their um, body wash has a bamboo bottle that it comes in and then you can refill just drop it into the tin and it looks really good in your shower josh and i actually use the same stuff because the scents that i have in their shower gel are gender neutral so we both use it. This is a mint shower gel, and I think right now we're using a ocean scented one. And their deodorant is truly what got me hooked on them in the first place. They're made of durable aluminum. You can even get your name monogrammed on there, and um, you just drop another little cartridge, is what I call them, into your packaging, and you're good to go. They have so many good scents that you can pick from. So right now they've given me a code that is good just for now, so use it while you can because it's going to go away after a while. My code is Megan Fox. That's going to get you 20% off of Wild. So I'll put the link down below. You can find it easily. And if you already have wild, I'd love to know what color your packaging is because they're so pretty guys I love seeing them sitting on my bathroom counter and my makeup bag. I always keep one in my makeup bag Because half the time I'll leave the house and realize oh, I forgot my deodorant. I forgot my I never put makeup on at home I always just put it on in the car if I'm gonna use any at all um, And so that's often where I put my deodorant on as well, but you didn't need to know that anyway check out wild Megan Fox will get you 20% off so I'm gonna go get our day started I'm so excited. I love vacation. Today is like a perfect mix of work and play. This morning, Josh made breakfast. It was so delicious and we ran around the house and just tidied up. I don't know why I get this little high of just like getting everything put away. I think it's because when you're on vacation, there's not as much to put away. There's not as much work to be done. And so you can see a result, the results really fast. Also, if you don't keep on top of it, at least I've learned with my little family, whoo, things get out of hand so fast. It's so beautiful, I know. What did you color, Vani? Flamingos, two flamingos. Oh my word, they got so good. Yeah. This is with a sketchbook app and then she just uses a stylus. Fun, fun. Let's do another one, right?
is it, Miller? What is it? What are they doing? What are they doing? Are they kissing? You want to run around underneath them? You don't want to touch it? Good afternoon, we just got back from the park, so the hair, by the way, me and my friends are discussing, you know how denim skirts are just so forgiving? I feel like they're such a great option for postpartum because, especially the ones with like the buttons, because it's just like a bump there already. Everybody looks a little bit pregnant in a denim skirt, honestly. I feel like it's a really flattering option, especially postpartum, or, you know, it's a stomach. Why does that have to be a bad thing? <laughs> This is actually a skirt that I designed with Inherit, and I'll link it below if it's still available. I love this denim wash. I was just wearing a very simple outfit today because I was wearing a baby wrap at the park. Anyway, Josh is going golfing, the kids are going down for naps, and I am going to get some more work done because it's a colder day today, and it's very windy, and I don't want the baby out there in it, and so I am making myself a strawberry lemonade. I'm just like smashing these up in it with a... <laughs> ice cream scoop and no I'm a working woman I don't have time to squeeze my own lemons right now and I also didn't feel like buying a bag of sugar while we're on vacation so Josh just got me the simply lemonade when he ran to Walmart the other day so I'm gonna pour that in oh my word it already looks so good <laughs> and then ah there we go this is a sparkling water Josh is on the phone out there business propositions <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm excited. So a sparkling strawberry lemonade, I guess we'll call this. Oh, it's so good. And if you use the Simply Lemonade, this stuff is like super sour and flavorful, so it doesn't matter if you water it down a little bit with a San Pellegrino. Mmm, refreshing. Anyway, I need to get to work. Not having an office space means you have to like always be tidying up and moving a... <laughs> what are you guys doing? No. You're superheroes. You're superhero. Mommy's filming. I am like... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like a little band of knights. Or what? Yeah. Like I was saying, yeah, you look cute. Anyway, like I was saying, it's kind of hard when you have like a multifunctional space that's like the kitchen and anyway, I'm missing my office, all that to say. Vacation's going good. It's a lot of work, not gonna lie. The baby has not slept very good since we got here. Um, or maybe it's just me, I haven't slept very good because I can hear him snuffling around in there and whatever. Um, so I'm feeling a little more tired than normal and the kids are just, they're the ages they are, zero, two, four, and six. What do you expect? So it's not as relaxing as some years and I have to be honest, I'm definitely missing our friends. Normally we come down in like January, February, and then there's so many people down here at the same time. There's not a lot of socializing happening right now, which is great. It's a lot of good family time. But yeah, I do, I, I'm thinking about the years where it used to be like six or seven couples all meeting up at a park somewhere for pizza in the evening and stuff like that. Like I said, Sarasota is like a Mennonite hub for vacationing. Um, but I'm willing to trade that because the weather here is so nice in March, way better. Like when you drive 16 hours, you really don't want to come here for a 50 degree day. You really don't. So what, you're getting ready to golf? I am getting ready to golf. Where's your golf shoes? They're out there in the golf bag. How is it? That's light. Well, it's because like if I wanted to make it stronger, I could squeeze some lemon juice in, mm -hmm. but I kind of like it like that. It's more That's of like good. a, I watered it down with the San Pellegrino. You should just take that with you since it's not all used up. That's only sparkling water they had there. Like a fine. I love opening aluminum cans. It's like, yeah. <laughs> not as cute as the glass jars, but we have strong muscles. And now they have the strong muscles to go with it yet with the puddle jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are silly. So it is Saturday and Josh is actually gone <laughs> all day. He went to the PGA tour, I guess that's up towards Tampa. And I, I was like, I wanted to go along so bad. I'm not really a golf person, but I think it'd be so fun to just like be around all the famous golfers and like, isn't it like a really wealthy sport? I just want to sit there and people watch basically. I want to see who's there and what they're doing, what they're wearing. But it was a guy's thing that Lynette Yoder's husband Nick had 
been involved with planning and so there was an empty slot Josh decided to go along and I was like it is definitely the opportunity of a lifetime but now I'm paying for it because I'm here with the kids all day but I was busy getting the house tidied up and ready for my parents who are coming down today around noon they've been driving all night bless their hearts Ugh. I know all too well what that's like but we're gonna go on a walk down here there's a park really close to our house supposedly that Lynette told me about and I thought that's doable I can do that with four kids I don't need to have um, yeah, there's so many different little excursions we could do throughout the day, but it's just going to be a little crazy. And we only have an hour and a half till my parents come. But I thought yeah, I would show you our fleet here. We bought a few new things right before coming down to Florida just because the things we had were beat up or weren't working. So I want to show you. And everything that we have here, I'm going to link below because we love it. Spoiler alert. So first of all, this stroller is amazing. We bought it right before we went down because we have this Graco car seat. And I just did not feel comfortable with it on our other stroller. We had a double stroller before from Phil and Ted's and it worked but the back seat was just not enough room for my two-year-old so this here I can set Miller in when he gets tired of biking and then also as the baby gets older the baby can transfer to the front and look at this do you see there's a stand along and there's a seat sorry everything's sandy right now but there's a kickboard type of thing and then a seat as well so Miller could sit back there and then I just clip my Luli baby diaper bag which is always linked down below you can always get 25% off which is insane um, but I just clip that on the back there it's so handy so nice so that's my little rig right now and I love it Josh loves it too I was always hesitant to buy something that was not a jogging stroller and this is still working out really well. I'm loving it. Granted, we've had it for like two weeks, but it's really doing everything that it's supposed to do and then some. And then here's Ivani's bike. It is so cute. Um, I will link it below. It's from Amazon and I love the leather and the green. And then she has her little doll seat here that she sometimes puts her American Girl 18 inch doll in. It's not actually American Girl, but this is our newest purchase. Fletcher's birthday was this week and this was his birthday present. This brand new bike um, and it's working really well for him. He is five years old and it's an 18 incher and it was pretty easy to put together. It came in a big box, almost fully assembled, and he is just loving his big boy bike. And then we did pick up a new Strider for my two-year-old. If you watch my videos, you see that he's been riding around in a really beat up pink Strider bike that Ivani and Fletcher used, and it was just falling apart. I was like, we have two more boys coming along. We need to get a new Strider. So we got this one and he's gonna use this probably till fall, he'll be biking. We like to have our kids pedaling by three years old. It's just, um, to how it's been for the other two so we'll see and he's already really good on it he learns to balance with it he doesn't have any training wheels and yeah i definitely recommend a strider bike of some kind for everyone even if it's not the strider brand just google balance bikes when you're looking or i will link this specific one down below so cute so yeah there's our little fleet and you guys saw our electric bikes earlier but we do use these a ton especially living close to a bike trail and also our bike carts We've had these for years and years and they still look great. They still work great and we have two of them. So I will link that all down below as well. Also, I should probably pack a few snacks. This is our little snack section here. But let me show you how we do snacks on trips and vacations. So I just grabbed a toy crate from the basement and then in here I have all the things that we should need for our road trip. We try to do it without any screens, although I did throw the tablet in here so we can like listen to stories, stuff like that. Josh is not convinced we're gonna be able to do it without screens. I said we've done it with a two-year-old many times before, so I think it's doable. But in here we have, I got these on Amazon. It was a pack of three. They're just like the little um, magnetic drawing boards. Magnetic? I don't know how they work. I'm not sure, but they erase um, with a push of a button. And then we have a bunch of books. We have these books on audio on YouTube. You can just Google them. So we have those along. They really love these Bible stories. Some other books for the kids. This is a like drawing kit. So it's like a hard surface. And then inside I have a bunch of art supplies that are not very messy. Back here I have eye masks to cover their eyes when we sleep at night. These kids ones came in a pack of two with like a girly fox, an orange fox, and then we have like the silk eye mask that I'm gonna use. And here's our little vending machine that I love to set up for the trip and then we have it also when we are in Florida then and people can grab out of it. Um, a lot of these snacks come from Thrive. We love Thrive. They have a lot of actually healthier for you snacks like these lollipops have honey instead of sugar in them, that kind of stuff. And I've worked with them in the past. So yeah, check them out down below. I will have a link for you if you wanna check Thrive out. And then also down here, I have my books that I've been working on. Um, They're gonna be for the whole, not just for the drive down, but for the whole trip. Some seasoned pretzels, those are my favorite. And last of all, this is fun, wiki sticks. So we'll try to use only half the stuff on the way down and then the other half for the way back, I guess, right? But they'll be sleeping a lot of the time too, Lord willing. So yeah, honestly, when I look forward to Florida, I always dread the drive, but usually it goes pretty smoothly. You just, you never know. There's so many possibilities for air, for engine trouble, you know, anything. So I think this should get us going. What do you think, Fletcher? What are we missing? 
Nothing? Okay, good. So yeah, it's already running pretty low, so I need to stock up again. And away we go. We're only going like a quarter mile, so I told them just to wear their hats instead of their helmets because the sun is brutal today. And I figured it's more of a risk with the sun. And everything in Florida is so flat. It's so nice when it comes to biking. And look at this. See, look at all the room for the cup holders and stuff. You just can't beat it. I'm bringing my picnic blanket along here. What do you think, Baylor? You like your new whip? So every year we have to try to come out to the beach at sunset because it's just cool. But also, what, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, Josh and I were walking on the beach. First time ever in Florida. First time ever in Florida. Um, yeah, walking on the beach at sunset. It's just memories. And this time we came with not one, not two, four, four kids. It's just crazy. Right? How time flies. 12 years. I know, but that feels like eons ago right now. Honestly. It does feel very like, long ago. Some people say, oh, it feels like yesterday. Honestly, right now, it feels like eons ago. <laughs> staring at a gorgeous Florida sunrise, my goodness. Anyway, I started my YouTube channel. I mean, there was multiple reasons, but one of them was to just, you know, be another mom out there when you feel a little bit lonely. Being a mom can feel like you're in your own little world, isolated kind of doing your housekeeping and homemaking and not often, but sometimes it can feel that way. And so I wanted my channel to just be another face doing the same things you guys are doing. But ironically, doing YouTube, I have nobody in my real life that understands exactly what's going on. And so I've made a lot of online friends and one of them is Lynette Yoder. I'm sure a lot of you have watched her channel. If you have not, I will put a link to her YouTube videos down below. She is a Mennonite mom as well. And they moved to Florida recently in the last couple of years. And so we meet up every time I come down and it's always super fun. So we're gonna meet this morning and go on a walk. Here she comes, she's pulling in. We're just gonna walk around, look at the sights, get some coffee have some girl chat our husbands have been hanging out way more than us they golf together and they became friends because of us and i'm like we need to make it happen her kids had pink eye and yeah we just weren't even able to really hang out we went to the beach one day for a couple hours but it's gonna be good to go get some exercise in get a coffee oh i'm just so excited sarasota is the prettiest city it's so pretty it's like a coastal modern feel i don't know i love it so if you're in the area definitely walk around downtown even if you have kids put them all in the stroller walk around downtown get a coffee um, I think we're going to get one at maybe like Buddy Brews, but I'll see what sights we see and maybe take you guys along for a little bit of it. relaxing um although it was hanging over my head the whole time that my kids might have pink eye we put them to bed last night and their eyes were like reddish and pink eyes going around um but this morning they woke up nothing was there it was from the sand last night on siesta key it's like powdery and it just like gets in there and we put little like saline eye drops in last night and this morning they were all fine so praise the lord but i wanted to show you my shirt i am a mom of four so i should not like white shirts but i just do and it's so hard to find ones that are not see-through um i really really like this one but i have it to wear a tank top underneath and you can still kind of see some lines in the back but 
it's really cute i like it i'm keeping it and i wore it today and yeah it's just very beachy and classic but fun at the same time i wish they had more white shirts out there that are not see-through but i know that's kind of like almost impossible to do um, but maybe i'll have to just design one or something <laughs> sitting here waiting to turn the traffic in Florida in the spring is no joke <laughs> we're actually out of the house this evening all the kids are with mom and we're going on a date I'm trying to get you in this shot too two miles takes 10 minutes yeah it's I told insane. Josh you drive 20% of the time oh. and you sit at red lights 80% of the time it's crazy <laughs> we were discussing if well, we can't even remember the last time we were on a date <laughs> what probably our baby moon mm -hmm. Like Philly? Oh, but that was right before we had the baby. Yeah, so, yeah I don't, I don't think we, sense. I don't, we, oh, we went and bought a car. We called that a car date. Well, so we, we had McDonald's yeah. in the car, if you didn't see that vlog. <laughs> anyway, it's actually a double date with Nick and Lynette. She made a reservation and we're about to have some good steak. I'm hoping they have good seafood too, but you only order steak at steak restaurants, right? right. So yeah. we'll see if they're known for their steak and seafood or if it's just steak. Cause we haven't had any seafood over down here. We weren't gonna go to any fancy restaurants. Well, our kids. table time is 5:45, and it's 5:45. So. So I was sitting at the Bayfront Park today, just answering YouTube comments and just enjoying the first alone time I've had of this whole trip. And I feel like that's like the first time I realized like we are in Florida and we're almost at the end of our trip. Like this trip has been kind of crazy with kids. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was fun, it was good, but it was hard too. Like, oh, boo hoo, here I am booing about, boo -hooing about a vacation. Correct, you're booing about a vacation. <laughs> but yeah, like you, I think the problem is we came to the same place we've come to for the past five years and it's just not the same situation even though it's the same location you know four children you just can't do it at the same speed you did when you had one you know what are you doing miller what's up miller <laughs> there he goes his crocs keep coming off i think so was it relaxing at times yeah we had a few very slim moments of relaxation. Yeah, and they were extra special, that's for sure. So kids, yeah. Kids just make it very difficult. Vacation's not the same, but... Your expectations just like have to change. I said before we came, this vacation is for the kids almost more than for us. Because they need some sunshine, they need to go outside and play, they need to go run. And I think we were able to do that. And that was fun. Yeah, you can't really replace family bonding time, I don't know. and. We need to make sure we have more of that at home, you know, this summer right, and stuff right. too. So yeah, it's been good, but boy, I'm tired. I need to go home and relax from vacation. <laughs> and I think I know all the things waiting for me at home that need to get done. And I'm like, no, I need to just prioritize and do the top two most important ones. And the other ones can wait, you know? Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, what a blessing to be able to come here. And it has really been an awesome trip. We hung out with a lot of amazing people and made so many good memories. And they got lots of daddy time, which is what the best part of vacation is every time anyway. But yeah, a two-year-old and a newborn on vacation. No joke, adjust your expectations. So it really was a jam-packed trip and lots of fun. It was so awesome to soak up the sunshine and go to the beach. And Josh's favorite part, of course, was golfing. He went golfing at least six times, I would say, with Nick or other friends. Or he even took Fletcher out a couple times and Fletcher just loved it. He could not stop talking about riding around in the golf cart with Daddy. It was just great that we each got to do some of our favorite things. But I thought I'd jump into just a few stories of things that we did while we were there. It's kind of like a video journal. So the one day we went into St. Armand's Circle and spent time walking around the little town. And we went to Daiquiri Deck for lunch which is a restaurant that has pretty overpriced food, but they have a whole wall of different slushies. Most of them are adult drinks, but they do have a few that are virgin, and that's what we were having here. So delicious. I actually had a peach strawberry lemonade, and it was so good. We shared some mahi bites and just some different shareable things, and then we jumped on the trolley, which is completely free. You can ride the trolley all around different parts of Sarasota. You can go into the city. You can go to Lido Beach, and it's just really old-timey fun. Of course, the little boys 
loved it because they don't really get to ride a school bus ever. So they thought it was really special and just the open ride was a lot of fun and I definitely recommend doing it, especially since it's free and you can use it as a mode of transportation, but we didn't really want to be pinned down by the schedule. So we just rode it from St. Armand's around and it brought us back again and we could go on our merry way. Another thing we did was go to Sarasota Jungle Gardens. I was not really into it because we go every year, but the kids could not miss it. They were so excited. They love feeding the flamingos. It was a little disappointing this year though because we showed up and we saw a whole bunch of school buses and sure enough, a whole bunch of little kids had come in right before us and they got to feed the flamingos and by the time we got there, they just weren't very hungry. So we had a couple of them eat out of our hand. Miller got to experience that for the first time, but for the most part, they just weren't very interested. Look, here he comes. Ooh. What did the bird do, Miller? What bite. did the it bite it? How many? Two. Two. Yeah. Did it hurt? No. Yeah. It hurt? Yeah. Or did it tickle? Yeah. It tickled, yeah. The kids absolutely love the bird show every year. This year was a little different again because they're, I guess, most talented bird died sadly, but they did have a little show even though it wasn't as engaging as some years. We did stay and watch that. And yeah, it was just a good day overall. My parents were there, my sister and her friend. And yeah, it really is a, an experience like none other to be able to feed flamingos. I think it's one of the few encounters in the world where you can actually do that. So check it out if you want. Um, it's definitely a touristy thing and it's very expensive I found, but the children just loved it. One day we took a little road trip up Longboat Key towards Anna Maria Island and we found a little park to stop at halfway through just to stretch our legs and to look at the water, walk through the woods. It was a fun little nature hike. My kids love hiking and we need to do that more in our area. <laughs> really we do. And then we made a stop at Fox Mercantile which is very pretty. All the aesthetics. They have a little coffee shop there and just a really fun little shop to browse around in. Definitely not a place for kids so we didn't stay there very long at all but I enjoyed looking around. But yeah it was a great little Megan moment stopping in here. Guys, children at parks is just tough, especially if the park is huge or there's a crowd. We came here to Payne Park, which is our hands down favorite park here in Sarasota. And Josh had to turn around and go home to get their helmets because we had forgotten them. And so while he was gone, it was me with four children trying to keep up. I had the baby strapped to me with my wrap, but the other three were just all over the place. And so I really had to balance and figure it out and find out where they were at and not try to lose my kids. It went fine. It really did. But uh, I just don't love huge, huge parks like that, especially if you don't have any help. So so yeah, definitely check this park out if you're feeling plucky <laughs> and they have a really cool skate park too. We stopped at PDQ for lunch, which is a fast food restaurant that has really good chicken and I just love their, I think it's called a chili lime dressing vinaigrette or something that they put on their salads. So that was really good. Is there a real man singing or is that just music? Cool. This night here, I'm showing you my favorite night of the whole trip. We are here at Marina Jack out by the water and I've realized that every time you go out in public with four children, there's just a potential for four things to go wrong at once or there's a possibility of everything just going right. And that possibility is very slim, but when it happens, oh my goodness, it's just blissful. So this evening was just perfection. The children were all cooperating. We all had a fun time. Nobody was like falling and scraping their knee or anything like that. It was just perfection. It really was. And we had some decent food. We usually do eat out of O'Leary's every year. The ambiance is a 10 out of 10. And the food is, I would say, you know, a good solid 8 out of 10. They have live music. The kids just love it. And you know, if they drop something on the ground, it's just sand, so it's all good. It's always a little breezy here at this location, but the temperature is just lovely this time of year. And we took a little walk around looking at the boats. There's a playground there and I tried to take pictures of the boys. As you can see, <laughs> it's quite a circus, but I thought their outfits were too cute not to try at least. 
We usually stop in at Dear Dutchman once while we're there. It's traditional Mennonite cooking. It's fine. It's decently priced because you get the buffet. But do be warned, if your whole family gets chocolate milk, you're going to spend at least an additional 30 bucks. The Ringling Museum and Grounds is just epic. It's so pretty. It doesn't sound like a very kid-friendly thing to do, but my kids always love it. It's free on Mondays, and it's not that expensive just to walk around on the grounds, I think, any day of the week. But the Ringling Mansion is just positioned out by the water, and you can look across to Longboat Key. It's such beautiful architecture. We got to see dolphins. We walked around in the art museum a little bit and just enjoyed the grounds and the courtyard. And their playground was running too, so it was just a great day to spend with my family. There was a full moon while we were in Florida, which was so perfect. We went to Hearts Landing one of the last nights and just enjoyed a beautiful evening by the bridge, walking the bridge, looking at the full moon, seeing the birds on the water and the sun setting, just picturesque. This was really a great way to wrap up our trip in Florida. Thank you guys for coming along on this one. I hope you enjoyed it and it's great lasting memories for our family. So thanks for being here. Check out Wild and their deodorant and body washes. And my link is down there. Use it while you can. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.